Hi guys, Creative Lori here, welcome. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Welcome back to everyone else. If you don't know what I'm doing, this is where I show you how I save every single day. I document it on a piece of paper, I just write it down, and I give you a menu at the end of the week. Whatever I have left over, I make food from, and I give that um, little menu of what I'll be eating. So let's get started. Um, today was, or, I'm gonna be posting from now on these videos on Monday. You'll probably be seeing this early evening or late evening, depending on what um, side of the US you're on, if you're on the East Coast or West Coast or Midwest even. So <clears throat> I love doing these videos and please continue to tell me how you save during the week. I am loving all of your comments because I want to tweak my patterns and routines for saving money. Um, and I learn from all of you. And um, let's just jump into it. So on Monday, I meal prepped um, a huge chicken bag for my dad that I got from the food bank. And it was 10 chicken dump drumsticks and thighs. And then I ate leftovers. Okay, so that took me about three hours. It took a little while to kind of, you know, defrost and all of that goodness. But let me tell you, first of all, I thought I already cooked it. It must have been the other bag that I got, but this was the oldest bag that I got from the food bank. I put three chicken thighs and drumsticks. They were connected into this um, crock pot and I made chicken soup. So I added um, garlic, fresh garlic, organic carrots, um, parsley from the food bank, and onions, red onions from the food bank. It turned out wonderful according to my dad and I put a ton of spices in it. So you can see one crock pot next to the other. This is like a larger one, that's my largest one, but it's not a huge one. Um, and so that was really great. Then I um, also took seven of the remaining drumstick thighs and just really put some olive oil on it and smeared a bunch of spices. And then I fried them, flash fried them in the uh, saute pan, skin down and then the other side. And then I added water and everything, the sp same spices, carrots, onions, garlic, and made a wonderful uh, sauteed um, chicken. My dad said it was awesome because I don't eat meat, but it filled, this is a huge bowl and it was heaping with that. Okay, then <laughs> this bowl was filled with the leftover sauteed um, stock basically. So we, we broke it all down, but he was so excited. It, he said it was really, really good. So that was a big accomplishment. And I really needed the space in my freezer too. So, and I knew my dad needed some, you know, fresh meals. So that's what I did. I ate um, my leftovers from the previous week. On Tuesday, I gave an old orange to my um, the outside critters. And you'd be surprised when an orange gets really hard, um, you think, oh, it's not good anymore. But actually, if you cut into it, it's still very, very juicy. It's just the skin loses the moisture. So it's still good. You could eat it. But um, I just cut it into eighths and gave it to the critters that come around because this is a time of year. This is a bad time of year. They're all having babies and they're displaced from all of our storms. So... I'm sort of trying to be, you know, more helpful. And by this way, I don't have to put out cat food. I do put out a tiny bit, but they're hungry and they're, they're having babies. They need some food. So I'm happy to do it. And if the tenants don't want it, I mean, it's, you know, I know they're not going to touch it. I always ask ahead of time. That was a real great um, deal. I put an arrow down to Wednesday, but that doesn't make sense because I, I gave the other second orange on a different day. Anyways, <laughs> I did that. I meal prepped by making a pita pizza using leftovers and I made coleslaw. So when I make coleslaw, it's like in one of these containers and it's good about uh, for about four 
helpings and I put it on tacos, tostadas, burritos, alone, what have you. I love it. And I just love it. The, the cabbage I did buy, um, but it lasted me forever, you guys. And so I'm super happy. Um, there's another video I want to do about things lasting and all that, but we'll get to it at, at another date. Uh, then I also, um, the pizza was really good, by the way. Wednesday, I continued food prepping at my dad's because that's when I dropped off all of that chicken. And, um, and then we broke down into containers because I needed my, my bowls back and my um, crock pot. He has all my other like casserole dishes. I forgot to bring them back. <laughs> so it was a little bit challenging. I had to cook the seven um, drumsticks and thighs when I was sauteing them. I had to cook them in two different batches. So that's why it took so long, but that's okay. Um, I really wanted to just get him the meals, but so on Wednesday, um, I continued to food prep and, um, at my dad's, we cut up some cabbage, onions, and then, um, put them in containers. And then we broke down all of that chicken into containers. So I broke down the chicken soup into two containers. So he had one in his fridge, one in the freezer. Um, then all of that chicken he wanted just to keep in the refrigerator so he can eat it down. And I said, well, if you get sick of it in like three days, cause he's having the soup and that I said, then just, you know, uh, put it in a Ziploc bag and freeze it. Cause it was so tender, you guys. And it was so well seasoned and, um, I can't taste it, but the only thing is, um, on the sauteed chicken, not the soup. He said it was just, he needed a little more salt, but I can't taste it. And normally I cook when I'm around my dad, but I didn't, I couldn't do that. I had to cook this. So it worked out though. Um, so that was really good. And it, we just kind of cleaned out his refrigerator and food prepped what was left there. So that was really great. Um, and then I ate leftovers. I didn't even eat there. I had a snack that I brought with me. But I was so busy the whole time I was there that I came home and I was starving and I was so glad I had leftovers, let me tell you. <laughs> so then on Thursday, um, I diluted my oyster sauce and then I meal prepped with a pita pizza and that's like good for two days, really, you know, for like a brunch. I ate half of each, you know, um, so I really enjoyed it. So I had to use up my leftovers. My dad did not want the mozzarella that I got from the food bank. I love saying mozzarella. <laughs> and um, so I used it to make a pita pizza. And um, I'll show you guys in the video coming up. And then um, what else? I made, oh, a veggie soup. That was really good, by the way, on Thursday. So... I kept using the same ingredients over and over again. All I had were carrots, onions, parsley, um, what else? I had some tofu left over. So I had to use all of that. And it just seems like it kept giving and giving and giving. So it was really great. And I enjoyed all of it in the soup, in a stir fry. You know, I think I did a stir fry the week before. It was really good. I'm super happy. Sorry, I'm flailing my arms so my camera's not, <laughs> it's not centered. But that was really good, you guys. So making the veggie soup on Thursday and making the pita pizza so I can have something very early, you know, as a brunch. And it's all I have to do is warm it up. I put it in the toaster oven. Delicious protein, carbs, all of that. It was really good. Um, and I did have... When I say leftovers, when you look at my last week's menu, what I talked about, what was in that menu, I ate as leftovers, tostadas, so on and so forth. Okay, so the diluted oyster sauce. So every year I always ask my dad, I don't want him to spend a lot of money. I say, I always say, I want some of this, I want some of that for my birthday and Christmas. They're just about six months apart, so it's perfect. Um, this was oyster sauce. This is what I got for my birthday this year in July. And then um, last year I got that size. So quite a huge difference. 
So what I like to do is take normally half of it and dilute it into the other like empty bottle. But this is quite of a bit of a difference in size. So I took three quarters. And as you can see, I just added cool water to it. And then it's like a nice consistency. Why this helps is it still gives me the taste I like. I love that taste. It also cuts down on the sodium and sugar. So, and it's really, if you've ever bought an um, oyster sauce, it's very hard to get out of a bottle worse than mustard and um, um, ketchup. It's like sticky and thick. So there was like a quarter left. I added more water. This is a little bit thicker as you can see. So I'll probably thin that out too, but I have one more bottle that size. So I'll take care of it accordingly, but that is such a saver. I use that in my soup, my fried rice, or did I do, no, I didn't use that with my fried rice, but my soup for sure. That was so good, by the way. So save a little money, save yourself some sodium. Don't eat all that sodium and just thin it out. You'll still get the taste, whether it's teriyaki, oyster sauce, something of that sort. So good. Okay, the next thing was Friday. I made pickled red onions and then I gave the leftover, the last orange to the critters and I ate leftovers. So I made these onions. I already finished the last one <laughs> completely. So I made more. This is a great way you guys to, when you, I'm storing my onions in my garage and it faces north. It stays very cool, so it's great, but it's still, there's a couple here and there, you know, like probably four over the last two weeks that got a little soft. I just cut it off. I rinse my knife and I rinse the onion after I peel it and then I chop it up. This is why I do not save my peelings and all of that. Um, there could be mold under the layers and also if it's not... Um, organic. I don't want the pesticides in my stock when I save all of those things. I do not want it. So don't save, in my opinion, don't save your scraps unless it's organic. Um, certain things, not everything. You just have to look at the dirty dozen list online. All right, moving on. Sorry, I'm going through this kind of fast because I'm hungry. <laughs> um, then, so that was Saturday. I made the onions. I thought I was going to make carrots. I didn't. I bought a replacement litter box, boxes for my dad, but they only had one at the time. Um, but then I got another one, I think, uh, yesterday. Um, and I had my friend pick it up because she was going there anyway. But um, this saved me money because... I try to make my life, my dad's life easier with his kitties and um, the cardboard boxes I was buying from, they're disposable from Amazon. They're a good deal. You know, you spend about $50, but you get so many and it would take him quite a few months to go through them, but I'm saving about $50 over those months. And I only spent $9.99 for an extra large litter box. We had a transition over. I can no longer afford that. I spent 20 um, in total because I bought two for him. Um, and he has indoor kitties and an outdoor kitty that he puts in the garage at night. <laughs> She's so cute. Um, and so we needed two. And then I bought him a dustpan. So we switched over also to pellet, um, pine pellet um, little like uh, bedding for um, equine and um, rabbits and such, but we you can also use them for cats um, as their litter box. They sell them in litter box. I looked it up. My dear friend Kathy told me about them. They're seven ninety nine a bag at Tractor Supply. You can get them for more money at PetSmart, but why spend that when you if you have a local Tractor Supply? So that's what we do, but. We eventually, I had to switch my dad over to the plastic containers for litter boxes because um, I just can't afford it anymore. And I'm spending, I'll probably replace them in a year and, and um, recycle them because after a year, even though we're really good about cleaning them out, um, we take a dustpan. I take a dustpan, that's what I bought for him, 
from um, Target and we put them into the garbage and it doesn't release that dust like when you use the diatomaceous earth normal type of litter so you're not inhaling it so that's a plus for me but why I like to scoop it out is because it's a large litter box and um, there could be those fine particles the pellets do break down after they go potty you know but it lasts about a week and i think that's a great savings i'll do another video on it to show you all but wow it's also lighter and um, i can use it for a full week when i scoop out you know their business so i know that's kind of gross when i'm talking about food now that i think about it <laughs> but it is a savings for us i spent 20 versus 50 right now and it's going to be good for the whole year and then I'll replace it because we do wipe it down with the vinegar and water and we put baking soda at the base. We put the pellets in, it stays fresh smelling. There's no smell. And um, yeah, it's a really good alternative if you have kitties. I really recommend it, but we'll do, I'll do a video on it. Okay, so I did that um, and I saved money by doing that. I ate leftovers and I also uh, toasted eggshells and coffee grinds because I have been saving them. I toast the eggshells so that they're crispier and I can just, I'm not touching a raw eggshell. Um, you know, I, I saw someone else do it and they freeze them after that and that's when I started toasting the coffee grinds and the eggshells so that they don't grow any bacteria and I can just crush them and put them in my bag in the freezer, which I do. Saves me a bunch of money. I don't buy fertilizer. Although this year I'm not going to do a garden, I don't think. Okay. Um, the next thing for where did I leave off? Sunday. Um, I did more meal and food prepping and I made pickled carrots and a crock pot of beans and spaghetti squash. So here are my pickled carrots, which are lovely. And I put little pearls of garlic in there. When you think your garlic is bad and it's all shriveled up and dried looking, you can peel off the la the layers and it's like a gummy, not gummy, it's a soft outer layer and you get to the pearl of the garlic, it's still good. So I use that so I don't waste my garlic. And that's good as a topping along with the onions. I did that. And, oh, I made a pot of um, pinto beans in my little mini crock pot. And I made squash. Four servings. I put a ton of, um, it looks burnt, but that's actually the paprika, um, which turns brown when you, I put it in my toaster oven. Over there. Four meals out of that. Delicious. I love it. And um, that saves me money. Going back to Friday, though, I did not go to the food bank because I could not make it there in time. I had too much going on and I couldn't make it there. I was so bummed out, but I have enough to last me this whole week, as you'll see from my menu, and it's okay. Um, I have done this several times. It's always hard when I don't go because it, you're kind of building off of each week because they give you bulk items and also they give you pantry items. And I'm trying to build back up my pantry. So it's not best to skip a week, but I couldn't, I just couldn't do it this week. So unfortunately, but I felt good because I cooked everything up for my dad. He had meals, he's, I don't have to worry about him. He's good, he's absolutely good. So moving on, um, I just wanted to mention that, but I will be going this Friday. My menu for the week, okay, so I have five tostadas, I make five servings of tostadas, and I mean two tostadas per um, serving. And I still just have the tortillas left that I have. So I'll put it with the beans that I made, and then I'll put the guacamole I got from the week before, two weeks before now, onions and carrots. These onions and carrots. Oh, that's gonna be so good. What I do with the beans, I don't just put them on there loose, what I do is, um, first of all, I toast the, the tortillas in my little toaster oven. Then I take the beans and I put them in a little saucepan and with the juice and add water. 
and it's like refrying them. I don't use oil, but it congeals. That broth congeals into a lovely refried bean, and that is what I use on top of my tostadas or tacos or burritos. So there's at least five servings there. Then I have another five servings of just pinto bean soup with onions and um, avocado and carrot topping. This right here, I bought a couple of avocados, uh, I don't know, a week and a half ago or so, and I still have them. So I can use that. And then I use, so I had some last night for dinner, and then I um, put some parsnip chips crumbled on top. They taste like banana chips. So I've gone, I'm gonna keep one bag for me and I'll give two to my dad. And I'll just tell him, look, each bag is five servings. So be careful, you know, count them out. Um, and I don't think he'll eat more than that because they're not like a regular chip. They almost taste soft or they they feel softer than a potato chip. And then they're sweet like a banana chip almost, but they're really good. It's a nice texture. So I have five servings of that. That makes me happy. I like that for brunch or dinner. Then I'm gonna be making hummus, which is my little sweet little uh, garbanzo beans. These are small, so I'll be um, soaking them to get them to reduce the cooking time because when they're smaller, they take longer to cook. Also, I forgot to mention, um, I have leftover vinegar, sugar, or not sugar, vinegar, salt water, which I'll make other pickles with if I get more like, why throw it away when you could just save it in the fridge and make more pickles for something else that you might get from the food bank, you know? Or when you go shopping at Costco. All these things apply. I don't care if you go to the food bank or Costco or bulk, you know, shopping. It applies. So, uh, let's see what else. Okay, then I have four servings of hummus. I'll be making hummus with pita. I have two whole pitas left. And then I can top it with the onion and carrot um, and a side of spaghetti squash. So I'll be adding that. And then I have four servings of the spaghetti squash, which would be really nice on the side. So I think that's like a nice hand, like finger food and then a warm food on the side. And I can even make rice if I wanted to and put, you know, put a little bit together. Fine with that. But I only put four servings because that's all the spaghetti squash I have, but the hummus will, really make more. So snacks, um, grapefruit. Yes, I still have some kiwi and uh, I eat the walnuts and dried blueberries with tea, but the grapefruit and kiwi, I would just eat alone. And I notice I'm eating a little more because I'm working now that I feel better with my leg and having had the flu or whatever it was, I'm, I'm eating more because, um, I'm doing more around the house, so I'm feeling more hungry. So I would love to hear from you what your meal plan is or what you did this week to save money. And please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you like this series. Um, it certainly helps me with all of your comments because um, it just gets me motivated. I, I, you know, there's so many things I don't think about that you all think about, and it helps me out and everyone else reads the comments. So it's such a wonderful, enriched environment for all of us to help one another out to save money. And, um, you know, I always say there's no shame in getting help when you need it. I wish I had started sooner, but you know, no one really knows what I've been through, nor do I know another person's story. But if you guys knew, and maybe one day I'll share it, um, you would be surprised what I'm having to deal with. And I, that's why I'm trying to do the best that I can with what I'm given with. And, um, I really enjoy all of your comments and everything and encouragement. So thank you very much. Three channels I want to mention. If you like low income, um, channels and they they do a lot of they're very resourceful all of them all three first of them bc homesteading wonderful person um just a lovely lover person and she's very resourceful and i'll put 
all of their information down in the description box. Also, Ellen's Abundant Life on Less, she's extremely resourceful too. <laughs> they all are. Um, and she is the queen of resourcing and remaking meals. Uh, and then also Carol from the Reluctant V Granny, her channel. Um, she has some food restrictions, but wow, what she, what she makes from things you would not have known. So if you can't eat gluten um, or dairy, or if you're vegetarian or vegan, this is probably the channel for you. And um, she's very inventive, and you could tell she's been doing it for a long time. She's really good at it. So I'm going to leave all of their information down below. And they're all very nice, sweet, good people. So go pay them a visit and check them out. Let them know I sent you. And um, and I'm curious if you guys love will love them as much as I do. So... I will see you all later. You guys have a really blessed week and I want to hear about what how you have saved this week. Until next week, I will see you then. Bye-bye.